Hello, hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to discuss about the government participation in aquaculture. In that, we will discuss about the ICAR, Ministry of Agriculture, then the Ministry of Commerce and as well as the uh, processing industry is there. Okay. So first we will discuss what is ICAR, how it uh, controls the aquaculture industry or how it gives the uh, their role or their participation in the aquaculture. So the we know the Indian fishery sector it represents an economically important and fast growing production sector and contributing significantly to the national economy in terms of food, then the nutrition as well as the socio-economic uh, development and providing the livelihood to a large section of the society. Besides, the meeting it meeting the domestic demand, the sector has been substantially contributing to the foreign exchange earning through the export of uh, different kinds of uh, products. Okay, it, it is uh, sea products or the fresh water products. So the sector also generate uh, business avenues and opportunity for a number of uh, subsidiary industries also. So the different resource specific uh, fisheries research institutes of Indian Council of Agriculture Research have been instrumental for glorious history of the fishery sector in the country. Okay. So the Fisheries Science Division under the Indian Council of Agriculture Research that is called ICAR. Okay. It coordinates and monitor the research and academic programs in fisheries and aquaculture of five resources, specific fisheries research institutes. For example, see uh, one by one we will discuss the uh, research institutes. Uh, the ICAR uh, CMFRI, the ICAR CMFRI, which means the Central Marine Fisheries Research Institute. Then the ICAR, the CIFRI, that is the Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute. Then the next is the CIFT, it is the Central Institute of Fisheries Technology. Then the ICAR Central Institute of Freshwater Aquaculture that is CIFA then the CIBA is CIBA it's Central Institute of British Water Aquaculture and the Delhi University uh, the famous university from uh, Mumbai that is the ICAR that is called CIFE Central Inland Fisheries uh, Education which is situated in the Warsaw Mumbai and the Bureau it's an ICAR that is the NBFGR that is the Nas National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources and a direct, uh, Directorate ICAR Directorate of Cold Water Fisheries Research that is DCFR which is situated in the Bhimtal in the Uttarakhand state. Okay, so see this is the uh, number of uh, research institutes we can say or the uh, they can uh, give the economic program also in the fisheries and the aquaculture and these all institutes are headed by the ICAR that is called Indian Council of Agricultural Resource okay and these all uh, institutes these all uh, institutes are support uh, are also supported by a wide network of their regional research and field centers also this is not only the centers they are working in the uh, area but they are also uh, they have also supported some uh, wide network of their uh, regional uh, research and the field centers across the country in our area in our india okay so the fishery science division has also initiated the network projects on mariculture then the fish health management breeding and culture of ornamental fishes and the antimicrobial resistance and also coordinating a consortium research platform that is called CRP project on genomics okay so see here what they do they do a very fantastic work in the field of uh, in the field of fisheries they they work on the work on the mariculture then the fish health management then the how the breeding is there of the ornamental or the uh, ornamental fishes and the antimicrobial resistance also they work okay so we will discuss the one by one means uh, we just uh, see uh, where these institutes are situated okay so first is the you can see this uh, picture the big uh, building is there it is called central marine fisheries research institute cmfri at kochi 
Kerala. So this institutes it is a multidisciplinary approach to research in marine capture and culture fisheries has won its recognition as a premier institute comparable to any well established marine laboratory in the world. So see, this is the one of the important institute in, our, in, in India. So it gain, uh, gaining a very important because of their activity in the form of capture as well as the cultural fisheries in, in the marine sector. And it also a very uh, world famous laboratory. It also a uh, very well famous institute in the world in the field of medical technology. Okay. It is situated in the Kochi, Kerala. The next one the Central Inland Fisheries Research Institute that is called CI FRI, uh, FRI. it is situated in the Barakpur uh, in the state of West Bengal okay see here this is the ICAR means it headed by the ICAR okay so the ICAR the, the institute strives for the knowledge based management of what inland open waters for the sustainable fisheries okay then the conservation of aquatic biodiversity, then the integrity of ecological services and to derive social benefits from these waters. Means these uh, institutes, uh, institute is working on inland fisheries. Okay. And the headquarter of this institute is located at the Barakpur in the state of West Bengal and the regional research centers, they are located of this uh, CIFR I is at, at Allahabad, okay. Now it is an uh, Prayagraj, okay. Then Guwahati, the, uh, then the Bangalore, Bengaluru, and the Vadodara with the research center at Kochi and the Kolkata region, okay. Now the next, uh, that is the CIFT. We can see this in this picture. The CIFT, uh, it is the Central Institute of Fisheries Technology. It's set up in 1957, means after the uh, independence after just 10 years of independence so see here this our um, yeah, the uh, setup of this in 1957 and is the only national center in the country where research in all, dis all disciplines relating to fishing and fish processing is undertaken so this the two, two words are very important then this, this is the only uh, center national center in that particular in our Indi India where the research in all disciplines related to fishing as well as in fish processing is undertaken okay and the institute started a functioning at Cochin in 1957 and the research centers function uh, at the Veraval it is in Gujarat then the Vishakhapatna uh, then the Mumbai in Maharashtra okay these are this is the CIFT okay now you can see this uh, Central Institute of Fish Water Aquaculture which is situated in the Bhuvaneshwar, Odisha. So this ICAR CIFA, which is called CIFA, the premier research institute involved in a research and development in freshwater aquaculture has over the years significantly contributed to the growth of this sector by developing and standardizing new technologies for increasing production and productivity. So see, this is very uh, important uh, institute because it also gives all these institutes, whatever we have just discussed here, these all institutes give some training to the fishermen, to the researchers, to the uh, faculty members. So they, they get more knowledge, they get updated knowledge for their research, for their, uh, we can say the, by, by increasing their uh, productivity uh, yeah, in the form of fishes, in the form of other non fish cultural fishes also. Okay, so this also institute, the Central Institute of Fish Water Aquaculture, the CIFA, it gives uh, training uh, a very important aspect that is the uh, freshwater pearl culture. They give the training, then the fish marine, uh, sorry, the ornamental fish breeding, they give training here. Okay, so this is very important um, institute in the form of, or in this, in the, we can say, the, the, in the aquaculture sector. Okay, now, so this is the CIFA. It is called Central Institute of Brackish Water Aquaculture. It serves as the nodal agency for the development of brackish water aquaculture in the country. So whatever the research is going on in the brackish water, so this is, uh, institute is responsible for that purpose. So the headquarter of this institute is located in the Chennai. Okay. Chennai. So this, this, this Siba. Okay. Now the next. This is the uh, Deem University actually. The ICR also is an, uh, under the head of in the uh, head of the uh, ICAR, the 
Central Institute of Fisheries Education (CIFP). It is a leading fisheries university having a distinguished heritage and has nurtured many institutional scholars and leaders over the years. Okay, it gives a, a PhD program that is the post graduation in fisheries science that is the MFSc, Master of Fisheries Science. Plus, they also give the uh, um, the research degrees for the PhD in the fisheries science sector. So, it is also one of the important institutes in our in India. It gives a, a huge, we can say, the huge uh, scholars uh, and the leaders and the scientists uh, to the nation. Okay, so it is also a very important institutes and it also headed by the ICAR. Okay, now, so this is very beautiful building of just in this picture. So, this is the National Bureau of Fish Genetic Resources. It is also headed by the ICAR. It, it was established in December 1983 under the aegis of Indian Council of Agriculture Research to undertake the research related to the conservation of fish germplasm, fish germplasm resources of the country. So it is situated in the Lucknow uh, in the Uttar Pradesh state. Okay. Now, see, this is very uh, important uh, institute. Uh, this institute is uh, established to research on uh, cold water fisheries. So this is the di uh, directorate of the cold water fisheries research, uh, fisheries research, which is situated in the Bhimtal. It is in Uttarakhand, and it is the only premier research institute in the country working towards the sustainable development of cold water aquaculture management and conservation of the hill stream fishes. So this institute is responsible to research on the uh, in the field of uh, hill stream fishes. Uh, for example, in the um, Imachal Pradesh, then the Uttarakhand or Assam or the northern uh, uh, states. Okay, so so this is an uh, also important institute. Now, so the research program of the fishery research institutes have been strengthened, the restructured, the reoriented, and virtualized with a trust thrust on enhancing fish production and productivity through optimum and sustainable utilization of resources with due emphasis on conservation of fish resources to realize the full production potential from the fisheries and aquaculture sectors and to address the critical research gaps. So we have just discussed the institutes which was uh, which is headed by the ICR and these are their role that they how they actually they concentrate on the enhancing the fish production also the productivity through the optimum and the sustainable utilization of these resources and the research and implementation then the monitoring and the evaluation mechanism has also been strengthened for bringing more accountability accountability and transparency in the research programs in the field of aquaculture so vision of this particular icr or the all the institutes uh, we have just discussed the fish for all the, the fish for all forever forever okay so the vision that the sustainable growth of indian fisheries and aquaculture by interfacing research then the education and extension resulting in a proper fit between the human needs and the habitat with an important role in a global fisheries and the mandate so the to formulate and to supervise the council's policies and work pertaining to fisheries research then the to coordinate and stimulate operational research programs and demonstrate in a different fisheries systems then the to serve as a knowledge uh, repository and clearing house in fisheries sector then the priority areas so the development and upgradation of databases of fin fishes then the crustaceans mollusks and other important aquatic organisms including their molecular aspects then the mapping potential fish resources of the country using the geospatial data and the remote sensing for generating the computer based models on fishery management in open waters it is also a priority for this uh, uh, priority area then the development of sustainable management models 
for open water fisheries resources in the context of changing resource structure and climatic conditions then the developing or the upskilling of seed production and grow out technologies of important species of commercial and conservation value of freshwater brackish water and marine ecosystems these these are the priority areas okay of the icar and the icar under the icar all the fisheries institutes all the fisheries research institutes uh, then the some uh, deem universities they uh, giving their full support to the fish sector to the aquaculture sector for enhancing the fish production for the if they uh, ready to give their work okay now we move towards the ministry of commerce so we just discussed about the icar and uh, under the uh, under the icar number of fish institutes working there okay so the ministry of commerce so including this ministry of commerce we know the the main important authority is the marine product export development authority that's called mempida so this marine product export development authority mpda was set up under the section of 4 of mpda act 1972 and became functional from 28 april 1972 and it is a statutory body functioning under the department of commerce so this mpda is very uh, giving very important role or it plays a very important role in the field of uh, fisheries so it, it is a statutory body under the department of commerce okay so the mpda a statutory body is responsible for development of the marine products industry with a special reference to the export whatever the uh, production is there in our india of marine sector so that uh, that pro uh, product is Uh, how it exported towards the all other countries and how from exporting how we can get the more enough uh, foreign exchange so that is uh, the duty of this particular mpda so it is responsible for the development of the marine product industry with this special reference to their uh, export then it has uh, the actually it is headed by a chairman and it has been headquartered at kochi and has number of regional and sub regional offices so uh, some uh, it, uh, thrust areas so the for uh, to facilitate uh, facilitate enhance the export of marine products from the country the mpda has been giving greater thrust in the following areas so diversify the culture practice into commercially important shell fishes and fin fishes to enhance the aquaculture production and increase the varieties okay then establishing traceability of aquaculture and captured fisheries products through primary producers enrollment then the establish traceability of aquaculture and captured fishery products through the primary producers enrollment okay then it also promoting ornamental fish breeding for export by providing the infrastructure to provide uh, to produce varieties of ornamental fish species and also for employment generation in rural and the semi urban areas okay so it also promote the ornamental fish breeding and by upgrading upgrading of fishing harbors to international standard for sustaining or expanding our international markets so whatever the fish harbor is there that fishing harbor is there they are they upgrading they updated there and they are in the, uh, in relation or we can say the it is the uh, relation to the international standards okay so the extending financial assistance for conservation sorry for conversion then construction of a tuna long liners and imparting the training to crew to develop tuna industry to boost the export of a tuna fishes tuna fishing okay then implementing cat care certification scheme for preventing or the discouraging illegal unreported and unregulated fishing okay then assisting the setting up of a state of art processing facilities for value added marine products meal for the export means they uh, give their full duty on the marine products at um, uh, products and how they exported to the nations where they demanded and their uh, strategy strategy is to gain more uh, foreign exchange from the exporting these type of 
pin fish pin fishes or non pin fish animals and by um, exporting more and more products to the uh, other countries they filling demand of the uh, of the people from the other countries and they get, get a more uh, exchange from that okay so this is the ministry of commerce in and particular the in, in this ministry of commerce the empeda is a giving our we can say the play a crucial role in the uh, aquaculture industry now the ministry of food uh, processing industries so the ministry of food processing industry that is the mofpi is a ministry of the government of india responsible for formulation and administration of the rules and regulations and laws relating to the food processing in india so what they do this food processing industry is why it is an in this sector why it is important in the aquaculture sector because we know we have a uh, ample production in mariculture as well as in uh, inland fish uh, inland sector also so whatever the production is there we have uh, before we export the particular product we have to process them first so these processing the laws the regulation then the rules they are uh, giving to the uh, we can say the, they are uh, formulate the rules regulation and laws to uh, related to the food processing in our india so the ministry it was set up in the year 1988 with a view of to develop a strong and vibrant food processing industry to create increased employment in rural sector and enable farmers to reap the benefit of modern technology and to create a surplus for export and stimulating demand for the processed food so number of countries we know the um, they prefer the processing processed food for example uh, from surat area they have a very good amount of uh, fray, uh, shrimp uh, culture in that particular surat area so in that particular surat they first uh, process the shrimp and after processing they packed the processed uh, uh, shrimp and they export okay so with this the goal of the mo of pi the ministry of uh, we can say the food processing industry so the better utilization and value addition of agricultural produce for an announcement of the income of farmers so by uh, by using this uh, food processing technology the farmers are also getting some in income and minimizing wastage at all stages in the food processing chain by the development uh, of infrastructure for the storage then the transportation and the processing of agro food product produce including the we can say the aquaculture uh, aquaculture industry also means uh when we have a very very big uh, catch from the mara from the sea so, so we have to store the fishes in a very good condition we have to store in a very we can say the uh, minus 4 degree celsius then after some processing we have to transport these uh, to the other countries so the transportation is also important means whatever the lorry or whatever the truck or whatever the uh, in which way we have to uh, transport them for example uh, by road by air by rail so i have to uh, in, uh, clear cut that they have the infrastructures and uh, means they should develop the infrastructure and the processing of the uh, aquaculture as well as the agro food producers then the induction of modern technologies into the food processing industries from both domestic and external source the maximum utilization of agricultural residues and by products of the primary agricultural produce are also of the processed industries and to encourage the research and development in food processing for product and process development and improved packaging also to provide the policy support promotional initiative and the physical facilities to promote the value added export now the role of the mofpi the strategic role and function of the ministry of fall under the three categories so the policy support developmental and promotional then the technical and advisory then the regulatory it is concerned with the formulation and implementation of policies and plans for all the industries under its domain within the overall national priorities and objective so see here 
so it gives all the um, we can say the uh, it is concerned with the formulation and implementation of all policies and plans for all the industries including the aquaculture industry or other agro based industries also under its domain within the overall national priorities and objectives and its main focus area includes the development of infrastructure so we have so these ministries focused on uh, the infrastructure development then the uh, whatever the technology we have used that uh, application of this technology means the update, uh, updated technology they have they, they are using nowadays now the development of the backwater linkages then the enforcement of quality standards and expanding domestic as well as export market for the processed food products see here whatever the uh, food is processed in our area in our country so it is not um, you can say it is not uh, ex uh, exported towards all other uh, nearby states but also it expanded uh, not only national market but it expands the international markets for the uh, processed food products okay so this is the um, uh, government participation in aquaculture with this uh, i am ending this lecture and uh, last uh, thank you all of you by giving a huge response of, to our uh, channel and uh, number of uh, people they <coughs> <coughs> sorry number of students they benefited by our lectures we have a number of uh, messages from them and uh, with this i stop here and again my friend, my dear friends my dear students i request you that if you have any query about all the uh, unit from uh, first to fourth and whatever the sub point is in this particular units so please drop your questions in a particular lecture so i can give you answer so till then we will stop here and we will uh, wish that uh, in another paper we will discuss the piscine culture also so till then uh, goodbye have a uh, good life uh, your future is bright dear my dear students so with this i'll stop here thank you